Hello everyone, so sorry about the delay. I think I may have gone live on uh, my own Facebook. No wonder, and I'm looking for all my... <laughs> all right, okay. Hello everyone, how is your day going? Um, so sorry, I went live on my own profile. <laughs> Damn technology. Anyway, good morning to all of you. How has your weekend been? Can you please share a hi or a hello so that I know that you guys are here? And I better go to my profile. Shit. Oh my gosh. No one knows I do this stuff on my uh, page and I went live on my own page. Oh, blunders always happen. Thanks to MJ. All right, I have to say a big thank you to MJ because she has been vital in planning, discussing all of my lives that I have been uh, bringing forth to you. She is amazing and uh, I'm so lucky to have her as a friend, a guide, uh, someone whom I can discuss all my ideas with. Oh, you see, now I see people. So guys, I will quickly explain what happened. I went live on my own personal first Facebook page and no one was there. And uh, I kept on <laughs> talking and no one was, you know, coming live. Probably people were thinking that what's wrong with me because I don't do live on my own Facebook page. Oh, so happy to see all of you all. <laughs> Amazing, amazing, amazing. So I'm just going to give it another minute and then we can shoot right into the topic. Some housekeeping matters. Please read all the rules. Also, please um, have a look at all of the articles on Featured so that we are all on the same page with regards to our understanding of uh, key terminologies. Yes. So thank you to everyone. Last week was a great success. And that is too thanks to MJ who always encourages me and inspires me. And uh, we have so much fun discussing <laughs> about topics. All right. I am going to start now because there's a good 14 of you all here. And I'm going to say hi to all of you all. And then I'm going to start. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Henry. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was wondering where you were because you messaged me and I'm like, where is everyone? Hi, Heather. Hi, Gretchen. Hi, Amy. Hi, Barthi. Hi, Amy. Hi, Lisa. Hi, MJ, as always. Hi, Gretchen. I'm great. The weekend is better. And wow, light healing is great. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Annalisa. I think a couple of my friends would have seen me go live. I'm going to have a look at it later, but it doesn't matter. It's my life, my choice. <laughs> anyway, it's 7 in the morning. Probably my Aussie friends might have looked at it, but that's okay. <laughs> they... Oh, I'm going to read out Henry's comment. Thank you, MJ, for all of this and keeping the group so lovely. Much love and light from Netherlands and thanks for thinking about. Yes, I was actually, um, I, I, MJ and I, we both picked this time because a lot of you have been asking me from Europe, like, why are you having life so late? So this is dedicated to, to all of you all especially. So this is super exciting, guys. So I know all of y'all. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Jackie. I know all of y'all already have a certain understanding of what detachment is and how you all have been dealing with it in your own way. So, so having said that, I am actually going to run you through what detachment is and how you can actually be detached in a healthy way with your 
divine masculine or twin you know, if they are oh hi Oli it's 1 a.m yeah <laughs> thank you for saying I keep thinking of a good time but okay next week we'll we'll try to uh, play around the timings hi Amy yes I feel a lot of you need this because detachment see there's this there's always this tendency to just cut off everything that is not called detachment. Cutting ties or cutting off someone completely is not called, called detachment. That is because you are reacting because you're upset. So it doesn't work that way, guys. Detachment means you are detaching, but you have not stopped loving them or caring about them. You just detach. You just detach them from your mind, your thoughts, your heart. You just detach and you will know you are detaching in the right frequency when you're vibrating in a, you know, I am detached. And detachment takes a while to understand and, and to get into that frequency. Detachment takes quite a bit of uh, trial and error, I would say it. So look at it this way, all right? When you actually feel upset with your twin flame, there are two ways you would um, react to it. You would either be angry that they are not responding or you would start sending them more messages, which either thing is not good because by sending them more messages, you're scaring them off. By becoming angry and retreating, you are actually sending off um, a frequency of whatever you're feeling. So how do you navigate through both of that and actually find a middle ground? You know, that is the challenge. There are so many techniques. I mean, MJ and I were talking about how there are so many techniques, literally, but I don't want to confuse you all because there's no point of um, looking for a technique because that too will become attachment you'll be attached to that technique and you'll think that that technique actually it's about frequency guys it's really about frequency you will know when you're detached i will get to questions in a bit but i'm just going to go on about uh, detachment because that's very very important and i really want to discuss it okay so from my experience uh, from the time I met my divine masculine, thank goodness I MJ saved me and I'm on the right live chat. Um, so that my DM wouldn't watch it. <laughs> from the time I met my DM to this point, I think I figure I figured out detachment. <laughs> uh, maybe eight nine months into the journey but you see you can't force detachment also it has to be healthy detachment and usually it comes by after you go through the extreme emotions of uh, feeling intense emotions towards them so you will go through this phase of trying to message them a lot and overwhelming them which is fine as long as you don't expect a response so you can message your twin go ahead and message them but don't expect them to respond to you and also think about it this way when they don't re respond to you there is something right okay if it was just a friend who messages you all the time what would you do you would either tell them hey chill off on the messages or respond to what they want but why in a twin flame connection it is so hard for the divine masculine to respond because they get scared they get overwhelmed the moment they see your name your photograph and your message they get a bit uh oh <laughs> and when you send a message you send your message with a certain frequency and often it is the frequency of fear <laughs> frequency of he won't respond to me. So you are sending a message thinking he won't respond to you. How is he going to ever respond to you? Thirdly, you expect a response. So in terms of law attraction, you're sending a few signals to the universe. One is he's not going to respond. Another is he's going to respond. Another is he's going to hate me. Another is, oh no, what have I done? So if you message with this for energy, 
thoughts, it is a complete disaster, energetically at least. All right, then you still send them a message. Example, it's a special occasion, okay? It's your twin's birthday. What do you do? <laughs> Just send them happy birthday and then delete the message if you need to and pretend that you never send that message because they'll be happy that you wish them, but don't expect them to reply thank you. And if you can do that, you have succeeded in the journey of a detachment. But however, you keep looking at your phone and you're like, have they seen my message? Then you go and press, uh, where is it? Uh, yes, you go and press red. Oh, have they read? Have they read my message? Oh, shit. Yep. You know, don't, don't stop obsessing over it. Yeah, don't. Stop looking. Okay, I have this tip for you guys. Every time you send a message to your twin flame, keep it short. I was taught in law school, you know, first year, my teacher taught me this KISS principle. It's called, keep it short, stupid. <laughs> I feel it applies for the twin flame journey more. Because what happens is we have so much to say, we try to express it in a message. And just think about it, once they receive the message, they look at it on top, right? Notifications, they see it on top. And that's how, see, I've got so, and think about it, they have a lot of messages. Most of your twins are working, right? Yes, exactly, If you don't send paragraphs, it's okay. If you send paragraphs and you are detached about the outcome, it is totally cool. But if you send paragraphs and you're like, why hasn't he replied to me? Why hasn't he replied? Why hasn't he looked at my message? So just delete the paragraphs, delete the message and pretend you never sent it. If he replies, good for you. If he doesn't, you know that, you know, something happened. Just ignore it. Just don't worry about it. You said what you had to do. You said what you felt like saying at that moment, but don't expect anything expectation is unhealthy guys <laughs> really for any aspect in your life expectation is unhealthy it is extremely unhealthy don't have expectations it's good to have a plan it's good to have a rough idea of what's going on but you see even especially with twin flame relationship you can only strat strategize to a certain extent and what a lot of you guys do is you follow what they teach you online don't follow it you know your dm more than he knows himself he you know like i know my dm he doesn't like messages so i don't message him unless sometimes i do feel like messaging but the thing is i do message him and i just delete off all the messages and pretend i never sent it to him and sometimes we talk about it when we meet in person, but sometimes we don't even talk about those messages. We just, yeah, because I know he has read it or he has not read it, but it doesn't matter because you remember this, right? Twins are telepathic. You don't need a message for them to know that you don't need a message for them to know that what you want to say is what you're trying to say and like mj says let it go and release it to god in fact talk to the divine talk to god constantly like for me since i was a child i i always talk to god i write letters to god write letters write the paragraphs that you want to write to your dm to god just release it you will feel this peace try this take a paper and write to God how you feel about your DM after sending a message. Write to God, I feel extremely frustrated. I feel extremely silly that I wrote such a long message. Please give me the guidance and the support and your unconditional love to get through this. You know what? You will feel this. You will feel, you will feel God's unconditional love. Trust me, guys. Just try this. And you guys will probably let me know in my next life how it went. Like writing letters to God is such a transforming experience. Another thing is talk to God as well. Instead of getting angry at your twin flame, talk to God. Just 
just have this channel like within you pray like say what did i do did i do anything wrong if i did if i sent an overwhelming message please help me repair the frequency and just remember your relationship with your twin is unconditional and they are never going to get upset over anything that you say or tell like i remember a long time ago i was so inspired by my dm to make cocktails you know because we we we, we enjoy drinking cocktails so i actually learned how to make cocktails but in the initial stages i would mix everything sometimes i would send it to my dm that um i would send my dm a message with all the ingredients so you'll look at it and you won't respond and it, in the initial stages you were frustrating me why can't he just respond and then I realized that he probably just wanted to say, you don't add, you don't mix so many different types of alcohol, you know, to get a particular drink. And that's what he felt. So in person, I asked him, oh, why? he obviously didn't want to say something like that on through message. It's better to discuss it in person, right? So you can't be waiting, especially when you send paragraphs of messages, you can't expect your DM to respond to you back in messages men don't operate that way men don't even like messages men don't like messages they don't like phone calls they don't like anything that keeps their attention for longer than 15 20 minutes so yeah of course amy they do like hearing from you i'm talking about the attachment detachment process yes everybody's dm loves hearing from them it's just that sometimes they don't want to communicate immediately or it takes time for them to communicate or sometimes they communicate it in person when they see you so it's okay you know to each its own experience you, there's that we, i've worked with so many clients in my experience and um one theme is how they are like okay fine you know what if my dm is not talking to me i'm going to be with another person you can be with another person anytime you want but always remember this that if you do it because you want to make your dm upset or you want to make your dm jealous then that's not going to work you know your dm is just going to find someone else and you're going to be pissed even more so if you want to detach you can move on healthily okay because like i always mention in all my videos this is a free will universe so anybody can be with anyone just because one is your twin flame you don't have to be with them and they have the same freedom of choice on their end but what a lot of divine feminines do is when they get upset they start to make ridiculous decisions they start texting other guys going on the app because they think all this will be getting back at the idea but remember this is a divine relationship there is no 3d games get going on here so if you guys are going to do that you guys are going to be stuck in what you call the runner chaser cycle and that is just going to go on until you both uh learn about the divine connection of your relationship yes self-sabotage self-sabotage it's a big thing you see you have to remember that your twin is telepathic to you so everything that you feel they feel it so you can't lie to them like you can catch them on a lie they can catch you on a lie so example they ask you how are you and you tell them i'm fine they know you're not fine so it's about tuning your frequency and releasing what that no longer serves you to god you know you have to release it so every time you have an unhappy situation please release it to god like through a letter through direct communication by just talking it out screaming it out doing anything but just release it to god and then start in a clean slate so after you send a 500 word essay to your twin what do you do <laughs> go and talk to god after there's nothing wrong in sending them a 500 word letter stop feeling guilty about it you have all the right to talk to your dm anytime you want and you can tell them anything you want as well but don't feel 
like you are an idiot after sending such a long message because they are not judging you if your person is your true twin flame they will never judge you for those messages if they do then probably it's not a twin flame connection and um yeah you just know if there's too much density it's probably a karmic or a other kind of a soul connection with twin flame relationships it's often about mirroring behaviors that push you to to spiritually evolve towards the path of god so that is how it is if anything else happens you know you're not on a tf journey so going back to detachment okay let me look at some of the comments um even during my insecure times when we still had proper contact my person once made a funny and actual loving joke too. When I asked if he liked messaging with me, he said, I know you for two years. I, if I did not like being in touch with you, I would just ignore your messages for your few days and will freak out and probably block me again. So that's why there's this uh, pattern of blocking and unblocking. Um, honestly, in very, very healthy twin flame relationships, the blocking and unblocking rarely happens for that what you tell is when you see your dm in person tell them that you don't want to be blocked <laughs> just be truthful to them tell them that you don't like being blocked or or if they have never blocked you just tell them you know whatever happens let's not block one another because there's always a friendship between us and i hope you'd respect that and trust me no matter how much you annoy your dm they are never going to block you if you tell them those magic words don't block me but if you don't and you keep sending messages then they are probably going to block you <laughs> is it correct that getting readings on your tf during separation repels them all that's the reason why guys i take time to do your readings because i have a i actually ask permission from your dms higher self and ask them if it would affect the frequency or not so that's why i pick a day when they are actually cool about you reading them so it doesn't repel them actually it doesn't i make sure of it for my readings at least i make sure i have this um, energy of protection so that it actually helps you get closer to your twin flame not repel them so um yeah i feel my readings are safe Yes, Lisa is blocked me and I'm like, and come on, think about it. If a guy does that, obviously he he feels intensely about you. Blocking is a very intense thing. Like for me, if I block someone, I'm never going to unblock them. I work that way. I block you, that's it. You know, you're out of my life. So, um, yeah, actually I had that agreement with my twin flame when we, you know, had our... Um, when we decided to take time off each other, I told him, you know, you know, let's not block each other. And true enough, till today, he has respected my wish and he has never done that. And I feel that works. You tell, actually, you can tell them how you feel. There's nothing wrong with it. Just because in a twin flame connection, you have to realize they are like your ultimate friend. They are, they are you in another body. So you should never feel like you have to hide anything or make them jealous or do things. You can just be honest with them. You can be like, okay, fine, you're unavailable. So I'm seeing someone else. Often you won't because after you meet your twin flame, you won't even have the urge to go on a dating side or nothing else will make sense your twin will be in your mind all the time but in a healthy way and that's that's you see twin flame relationship is about frequencies it's about what frequency you're vibrating on and that is the outcome you're going to attract and that is the reason why your connection with god strengthens by the day so if you were not really praying to god you will know once you're on a twin flame relate rela <laughs> relationship you will start engaging you will start talking to god god frequently and 
all of us have different faiths, but God, one God. So for me, even during my lunchtime, sometimes I drop by the temple because I'm, I'm born Hindu. And I drop by the temple and I actually have a mental conversation with my God. And I tell you, it is so therapeutic. Sometimes talking to your DM is like talking to God as well. Like you may feel like you're not getting a response, but you are actually getting an energetic response. I feel that every time I send a message, I mean, I, I'm, I'm together with my DM. So at that time when we were still figuring things out, even if I send a message, I know. And one thing is, if it's something of urgency or something that has to be answered, your DM will answer you. It's often when he looks at those long paragraphs and he's actually responding to you in his own way, telepathically. You have to just listen. That is the reason why your connection with God is vital. You have to keep connecting to God like God. Don't do anything else. Just direct connection with God. Talk to God. Ask God, like especially when you're in extreme pain, connect to God and you will feel an energy change. Like, trust me on this. And always reminisce your relationship with your twin because you have shared so many happy moments. Why do you guys forget those moments when things get bad? You see, that's when... Now I'm going to actually talk about attachment, you know... Being attached in a weird, crazy kind of way is what pushes your twin away. Like checking their online status, checking their Facebook constantly. You know, every time you check their Facebook, they feel that you're checking them, you're looking at them. It's like, it's like, especially with twin flame connection, because the connection is so intense. When you are checking on them, they actually know and it's very uncomfortable. Put yourself... Put yourself in their shoes. I mean, I know some um, divine masculines do tell you that they are atheists, but half the time they are just bullshitting to you. you know, they, they do have a strong connection with their God. But uh, often they, they try to pretend to you that they are unholy and stuff like that because a true DM is connected to the divine, to God. So when they say that they don't believe in God, it's um, just to throw you off. Yeah. And MJ will answer you in detail, Lisa, on that. Oh, thank you, Henry. <laughs> yes, that's why this topic... So, so every time you guys feel unhealthy attachment what do you do i want you guys to just sit back and now you strategize when you're having an unhealthy attachment towards your twin which is obsession which is quite a negative energy because obsession is 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 is, is a thin line between being psychotic and actually being rational so every time you feel that way sit back and actually pray for guidance Sit back. I know meditating would be hard because you are in a intense pool of anxiety and you just feel, and this is the time you have to connect to God. You have to really, really, really connect to God. You have to connect to God. You have to sit down and you have to talk to God. Like that anxiety, you feel like scolding your twin flame. Do it with God, you know, like, and... Every time you actually get upset with your twin flame, your twin flame knows. And every time you're scolding your twin flame, your twin flame, your twin flame knows everything. And that is the reason why you feel them all the time too. And if you do you feel them getting uh, upset? You do. That is the reason why they're afraid to talk to you again. Because you put so much hate and anger and infuriation after he doesn't respond to your message obviously he's going to be afraid to come back to you and that's the reason why in-person meetings really helpful because food and video conferencing and every other online platform of communication tends to um, 
make you guys miscommunicate just think about it. you ask them for something and they reply something to you so you write a 500 word essay to your dm and he gives you a 10 word reply you're going to be angry anyway so a no reply is better than a 10 word reply but you have to understand that they, they have read it and reading it is their way of showing that they care and even if they don't read it you know energetically they feel something so you just have to you just have to connect to your within to god divine you have to constantly because this is a spiritual journey don't ever forget that that's why it's called twin flames divine masculine why is it called divine masculine it can be called masculine and feminine right it's called divine masculine because this is a divine connection think about it would you want to be an angry person in a divine it's okay to be angry it's okay to be sad it's okay to be frustrated it's okay to date other people but do it from within not because you want to piss your twin twin flame off because the more you do it you think that by doing certain things energetically with certain frequencies that you would that you would end up feeling uh, relieved but you're not you're just making things worse for yourself because the more you do it the more you're going to become attached with your twin flame how to to how to actually detach in in the physical so even if you're in union always detach yourself with your twin because they are their own person as well it's so easy to be tumbled up in the the romantic notions of this connection which is a beautiful thing we are on earth to experience certain elements of that but however it's about progress it's about evolution it's about spiritual growth so you have to focus on that as well i'm going to just look at the comments for a moment Gia says, I feel very connected to God, the angels and my ancestors. I am open to new love, but when I ask them about this, they tell me my person is my TF. I almost never check his social. Which is good. This, this is a sign of how you are actually detached, your twin flame, in a very healthy way. And you're always connecting back with, with God, with your angels, which is very good as well. Because you are seeking guidance from within. I will actually talk more about checking their socials. It is, th that's why sometimes I feel it is good when they block you because then you won't check their socials. When you check their socials, it's like you're stripping them naked, you know. They actually feel that way. Just think about it. You're stripping them naked without their permission, looking at their socials, having those mind thoughts. Who is this person he's standing next to? What is this photograph? Where did he go? He's actually feeling all of that. Like you have to be really chill and cool. Yes, and when you're trying so hard as well, then it becomes unhealthy attachment as well. So just let it go. Just release it. Just release it. Like seek guidance, but stop obsessing over the answers. You have to understand there are no answers in a twin flame connection. You you are not going to get a timeline. Or your, because everything is changing constantly, everything is happening by the minute. So if you're going to ask questions like, am I going to get married to him? Am I going to have kids? Then you might want to consider a soulmate or a karmic or a brand new connection. But with a twin flame, it is designed to be full of surprises. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust the connection. If you don't, then it is, whether it's going to get easier, it's in your hands. And if, it's good to grieve, like keep on grieving um, and healing. And that is the whole purpose. Self, Like look at yourself. You know how much you have progressed and healed and spiritually evolved. Because if you're still trying to pull in thoughts of how do I get him to settle down or talk to me or be with me, then it's going to be very, very, very much challenging and it's going to take a long time 
they actually okay dms block you when they energetically feel your energy too much that is the reason why they block you that's why when if you tell them in person don't block me they will actually make the exception for you and they won't block you but don't annoy them too much like you have to talk to your twin flame sometimes when you get the opportunity talk to them tell them that you know it's all good when i'm with you but when we are not talking it does affect me and you know can we have a certain ground rules about it and your twin is your twin is you in another body will you want to hurt yourself i mean some people do hurt themselves but no not in a twin flame connection it's a high vibrational divine godly relationship so you have to trust the divine on this like always I'm so sorry that uh, your twin blocked you, but you know, healthy detachment. If you detach healthily from your thoughts, from the frequencies, if you keep doing what you have to do, everything will be fine. So that's how it works. To keep on detaching yourself and then everything will be fine. Yes, I agree with MJ. We are talking about what is divine. So connect to God and angels, you know, and you will know. Because sometimes when you are seeking guidance from other entities, it's not healthy. So um, please uh, look at MJ's comment. You don't want entities with you, nor spirits. You want God and his angels. We are not talking about religion, but we are talking about what is divine. Talking. So if there is divinity, then it is the right channel. If it's not, then, you know, there's no judgment, but uh, you will know what I mean. Um, soulmates, it's a different design. You don't really have this um, intensity. Soulmates is actually quite a, it's like, it's like a normal romantic relationship. Soulmate connections are actually very beautiful. In fact, soulmate connections are are just beautiful you know you don't have this intensity of runner chaser energies as much you know and and soulmates are different souls right you are aware of the of, of how it works soulmates are different souls in different bodies whereas twin flames are souls that are split into two bodies so they're star seed monadics twin flames they're split soul twin flames and you can read about it more on featured about the definitions of what a twin flame is. Oh, thank you, Amy. I'm glad that you are. I'm so sorry he blocked you, but ghosting is a thing. It's just, uh, it is it is always due to your own frequency. It's a certain frequency you put out and he blocked you. That's how it is. So how do you fine tune your frequency so that you don't experience extremes in this connection? Firstly, like I said, do journal out your thoughts and feelings do have a journal do have a um a way to actually release those energies so that could be going hiking going for a swim in the sea could be doing something that has got the elements of earth going on there and um also another reason okay gia's message kind of sidetracking me to focus on the social media thing the problem is just think about it seeing their social media is doing you more harm than good by looking at their social media what good do you get out of it are you going to be happy that he's with someone else no you do you you have not evolved to that level where you're able to see his connections from a higher perspective then why do you even go and see his social if you're going to be triggered if in fact your dm is doing a favor doing you a favor by blocking you because when they block you you won't be affected come on they have a life too your life doesn't involve you only there's other things he he's on earth for we all have so many other things to do in fact thinking about your twin flame all the time is not healthy at all unless you can do it in a healthy way healthy attachment is fine unhealthy attachment is going to drive you insane i mean I don't think about my DM all the time. I do think about my DM sometimes, but not all the time. I have things to do. I really have things to do. Can you imagine if I'm thinking about my DM while fighting a case in court? 
that is unfair to my clients. So think about your DM. They're all doing important things. They're all going to work. They can't be thinking about you all the time as well. So that's why when you are, that is the reason why when you have a healthy detachment with your twin flame, you will reminisce about them and you will feel good. That oozy, cuddly energy. You think about them and you feel like you're being hugged. And in my other videos, I've talked about how you can talk to your divine masculine's higher self. And how if you, if you are really good at it, you can actually feel them next to you like a hologram, you know. And, and when the hologram is there, you know you're spiritually advanced and how you can actually feel them and touch them like a hologram and know what is going on. But for that to happen, all of your class have to be activated. And for that to happen, you have to be completely detached in a healthy way. I know, Amy, you can't make it stop. And that's why you talk to God, you connect to God and your angels. And I agree with MJ, God is involved in all kinds of connections. So please release. So even if you are struggling with a karmic or a soulmate connection, do release what you need to release to God. So... In that aspect, yes, the same terms apply. What I was mentioning was the intensities differ in different connections, but the rules of releasing applies to all, releasing it back to the divine, back to God. And when you release, you will feel an energetic shift, like really, like truly, I have experienced it, MG experiences, you can ask us. When you actually pray to God with sincerity, with purity, like a child crying out to their mom for something, it's the same. You are the child of God. So, yes, uh, feeling is what I'm recently so much, that feeling that I'm being hugged sometimes. Yes, of course. So this is what happens when you evolve spiritually. You start experiencing the gifts of Maya, which is illusion, but it is what is real. And, and this is what actually brings you to union. So ultimately, people always ask, give me a union timeline. Tell me when I am going to see my... It is all in your frequency. It's all in your energies. And that's why as an energy reader as well, I'm able to pick out three to four years, six months, eight months, ten months, 585 days. I'm able to give you a timeline based on your current energies. These energy frequencies can be changed. So that is the reason why, guys, be detached to your twin flame. Like, be detached to them. If you're not detached to them, you're just going to feel extremely, extremely, extremely tired. That's what's going to happen. Because... Attachment is tiring, it's draining, and when you don't go back and communicate with God and His angels, what is going to happen is you have to always um, don't be spiritually confused as well, like what MJ mentions, like God is God. There is no uh, any other elements. When you're connecting with God, you're connecting with God. High vibration, energy, frequency, yes, you will feel it. That's why it's not recommended to connect with other entities and stuff like that. Unless you are spiritually advanced that you are able to note the difference, etc. Hello, I'm getting some more messages. Any question, guys, please throw in your um, questions and I'll be happy to answer. And I, in the meanwhile, I'll keep talking about how to detach from your twin flame. And I am going to take a moment to actually look at what's going on my wall. I managed to make it private. Oh, let's see. Oh, man. There were seven views. Okay. <sighs> yes. That is the reason why God, God, divine, God, divine. When you say the word God, you're connecting with God. 
That's all. Just say. Even my letters to God are literally letters to God. I address God as dear God. I am feeling this way today. Can you please help me? Especially in the past when I would send an extremely long message to my divine masculine and I'll feel so guilty about it and I'll be like, dear God, please protect me. Please help me. Please neutralize my energies and frequencies. And you know what? There's always a magic that happens. And all... And everything happens in divine timing. So that point when my DM and I decided not to talk to one another, not really not talk to one another. Um, two months later, we bump into each other in a mall. And that is so significant because that it triggers us back into our connection. That's why you have to trust God on this. It is divine. Think about it. What is the coincidence of me and him meeting in the same mall at that exact time? Right? So this is what happens. Everything is divinely orchestrated. Everything. And that is the reason why you have to trust God on this. You may feel, why am I saying God? I'm preaching. No, I'm not preaching. I'm just using a term so that we are all on the same page. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, a, a general love reading. <laughs> Actually, I would prefer questions with regards to detachment because I don't want to sidetrack away from this topic. But I will try to take a few questions towards the end because I feel like um, this topic is, is very, very important. And, uh, and if you guys get the attachment detachment right, then you guys are on the right path. And and I want you guys to correct the frequency on that because many of you all, I'm sorry to say, but you guys are so attached and obsessed and it's not serving you well. I have a couple of healings that you may want to purchase that, uh, that work with these energies. I will introduce something to release... Um, unhealthy detachment energy so that might help you but ultimately it is in your hands to release it as well like what my healing does it it will try to fine-tune your energies and frequencies which you may look at which i'll post after this video i'll try to introduce a special healing for those who are struggling with attachment uh, you can have a look at that um Claire, you see, this is this is one example of unhealthy attachment. You know, if you are truly detached from the outcome, you won't be asking me what M is feeling towards you. M is not even thinking about you. I'm so sorry. M connecting to M, he has he has nothing to say about you at the moment. These frequencies will change. If you stop thinking about him, like I feel like his higher self is telling me that because you're thinking about him all the time, he doesn't want to think about you at all. Yes, that is what I'm getting. Kendra, in terms of timelines, um, it's going to take a 10 years, going to take another 10 years before you see something that of, of your... Um, I, I know you want to get back together. I, I see 10 years. Mm, you're getting there, Michelle, but uh, not not to the point of, of um, detachment. You will know when you do. Um, and also, I'll talk about your DM living in another country. Yes, for those of your uh, twin flames who live in another country and communication is only through messages and video conferencing, then it is all right. But always keep an open communication. And if they don't respond, detach as well. So it doesn't matter um, if, if they live in a different country. But if they're in the same country as you, then, you know, there will be chances of meeting them and it will be divinely orchestrated. But even with um, your twin living in another country and meeting them through video conferencing and all that, everything everything is actually organized by God. You know, if you look at this connection and if you truly connect, you will understand.
Hi, Tamara. Hi, Tamara. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> actually, I would talk about that. Divine masculines actually like to say that. They say that they are an atheist. They say there's no God. They say that they don't believe in the afterlife. They make you sound like a fool. And um, if you're going to buy into that, then go and buy into that. <laughs> Lisa, you know... Um, so, sometimes what really saddens me about this group is the level of perception and understanding about certain terminologies and and how sometimes people might be very easily offended by certain things. If you guys vibrate at a certain frequency, which is the fifth dimension and above, you will be able to see things from a different perspective. It is called the state of watchfulness. That means you're watching yourself from a higher dimension. Yes. So when MJ actually, I'm going to read out a comment. I want to say for those who have Muslim divine masculine, Allah is God in pure form. Allah means God. So when I say Allah, I am not referring to a Muslim God. I am meaning God in pure form. See, this is what I'm talking about perception. Just like French, it's due. In Spanish, it's Dios. Yeah. I mean, my DM did pull that one as well. I'm an 80s. And then he has got... Um, he has got um, his own connection with God. <laughs> but they do say that. Words don't matter in a twin flame connection. You have to always understand it is energies and frequencies and divine timing. These are the three key features. State of watchfulness. In fact, my next week topic will be about the state of watchfulness. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to run it through MJ and then we can explore that next week. Because the state of watchfulness is what's going to help you evolve spiritually. Oh, thanks, Amy. I was just putting it as a general note. You know, a lot of our other readers go through this as well. Sometimes what we're trying to say is misunderstood. And that's why if you are not ready for a reading or if you feel like you're going to be triggered, then take some time off before you come back. Yeah. And, and just see it this way, you know, like your DM or DF loves you unconditionally in the level of um, in the level of higher dimensions the love is always there even in 3D like I know my DM loves me unconditionally and vice versa and for me my DM and I we don't even go by labels we just know that in fact it's so interesting because when I first met him I noticed that we had um a mole in the same part of our neck and, uh, and 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 to me that was like our activator that was like a reminder you know probably we decided on a soul level this is how i'm going to recognize you you know we have a mole on the same spot so there's going to be all these clues and things and and one more thing is you will always have a beautiful friendship with your twin and and that's what i appreciate most about this twin flame connection is is that that friendship that recognition it is so beautiful and when you're vibrating on a higher level and it is just it is just so beautiful the the feeling hi jennifer oh you could go and have a look at my other lives too they are all under videos but thanks for joining us today so we are talking about, so those of you all who just joined in, we are talking about detachment. How do you detach in a healthy way from your twin without having extreme emotions? <laughs> so I've summar summarized it in one topic sentence. Yes, so I'm going to do a quick summary before I end this video and I'll be taking questions in the next 15 minutes. So throw me any questions if you guys have with regards to this. If you want a paid reading you can check out my file i'm try i'm going to introduce a new healing as part of today's video something to do with um, dealing with healthy detachment so that 
healing energy booster would help you kickstart this journey. So you can have a look at that. I will uh, post about it in this video. Um, so if you want any other readings, you can always take a look at my file. My, our other readers offer amazing readings too. You can have a look at their files. And if you guys haven't done a twin flame check, I would always advise you to do one so that you know what is the connection you're dealing with. For some of you already know, so don't check if you already know because that might confuse you. So all of my videos stay up in the group. So you under videos, I will send the link so you can actually watch all of the readers lives if you want to. And I would recommend for those of you who have just joined in, please watch this video from the beginning so that you will understand how this uh, thing is going on. And yes, detachment. Detachment is so beautiful. Detaching from your twin is a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful frequency. And I am experiencing it. That's why I'm able to talk about it. It's so beautiful being detached. You know, sending them a message. That's why delete it. My advice for you is after you send them a message, you just delete the message and forget about it. Just forget if they reply good. If they don't reply, fine, be it. God will orchestrate another meeting for you guys. You have to trust the divine on this. Like really just trust god on this like trust god like please i don't know how else to say it and detachment is so beautiful you know it is the most beautiful feeling and ever and i want you all to experience it and when you do i tell you it will be like you're floating in air that means you're still thinking about your divine masculine but you're just detached and that is the best feeling on earth ever and i hope all of you guys would find a way to find that detachment and in fact um i i have no more words to describe the feeling of healthy detachment but it's so easy to describe um, attachment, unhealthy attachment, obsession, stalking, asking other people how your twin is doing, what your twin is doing, trying to find out, trying to keep thinking, trying to telepathically communicate with them. All this is just going to make your connection with your twin um, less friendly <laughs> looking for a term to use frequency frequencies it's all about frequencies guys if you guys are going to be obsessed they know come on every time you look at their facebook you think they that you don't they don't know or stalking them on instagram or having a fake account to try to uh, find them it's they know it is it is how it is it is designed that way and the twin flame relationship is something of a divine nature and um that is why it is so important to just focus on you on your self work on your healing and this will just elevate your consciousness to levels beyond your imagination. And I'm going to repeat MJ's comment. When you detach, there's no obsessive, obsessive feeling. I, did, I don't even want a reading on my twin because I know everything. I feel everything for myself. Yes, that's when you know you're ultimately detached. MJ once again said it so beautifully. <laughs> Pearl, I don't really do cards, but uh, because you insist and I have cards next to me. This is quite, it's called Love Oracles. I don't even look at my cards. I will, I will just do one card for you and then another card for the group. You are a beautiful and sensitive soul. Love's objective is to truly... Remember who you are, an eternal being of light on a path to ever greater love. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's okay, Delilah. <laughs> Delilah. If you have any questions, I'm going to stay on for another couple of minutes before I leave. You can always watch this video from the start. It's going to be under videos. So, and, um, so, yes, if you guys have any questions with regards to detachment or attachment or unhealthy attachment and detachment, please throw your answers, I mean, throw your questions and I'll be happy to answer. So I'm going to, I'm going to end in another 10 minutes. So if you have any questions, any doubts about frequencies, what I've explained, if, if I can be clearer, please um, ask me right now <laughs> and uh, next week and <laughs> MJ and I have so much fun every week discussing what topics to talk about so thank you again MJ for always inspiring motivating and guiding me so next week is going to be fun you see you know only when we discuss you know it is so much more enlivening and we try to bring in the right information Ah, okay. Jennifer's question is interesting. Do you recommend recommend anyone in particular to help with living with our t haps in 3D and how to get a 5D while healing and balancing DMDF energies or have advice on that? Ah, uh, yes, of course, I do have ad advice on that, you know. So there are some of you guys who might be in union with your twin flames and you may still be experiencing certain challenges so you will have to again <laughs> detach it all goes back to detachment so how do you balance dm and in fact i will focus this will be one of our other topics in the lives to come how to balance dmdf energies yes a healing i can advise a healing you can look at my healings i do this mintaken healing ritual for couples so you can have a look at that jennifer um also when you're living with your tf in 3d you can still draw boundaries you can still have that space you may be living in the same roof but you can still be detached with your divine masculine and in terms of balancing you can do your own stuff yoga meditation connecting with nature mm, doing things to help you with your spiritual growth and evolution so you will be able to work on that. And because this is such a um, intense topic, probably I'll talk about it in another live session as well. I hope my answer helps. Oh, I'm glad it did. Wow, your comment came in at the right, right time. Oh, no, Gia, there's nothing crazy about it. And uh, you, if you keep connecting to your Agashik records, you will see, you will get more guidance. Yeah, just, just make sure you're connecting to the right records because sometimes there's a thin line between imagination and actually accessing your Agashik records. So bear in mind of that. Yes, <laughs> you're most welcome, Jennifer. I'm so glad. Yes. So every healing and every reading is actually an activator. So you you would be dreaming more about your twin day daydreaming when you sleep as well. So this opens up and you will know if you're having a vision of your twin, whether it's real or not. Um, a lot of my clients comment about how they actually start seeing their twins in other lifetimes. <laughs> I really don't do card readings, but um, basically it just said that you're en route to understanding yourself and evolving spiritually. And um, yeah, that's what your card means, that you are on the, you, you are, you are en route to actually finding inner happiness, clarity, compassion and things like that. Yes. <laughs> and I pulled another card for you because you love cards. It says this, maybe you can read it. Oh, damn the camera. A new love is coming your way, yet in order for this to manifest, you must release the past. Are you ready? All it takes is a conscious desire to do so. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I'll do a card for the group. Let me... I have so many cards, messages from mermaids. These cards are quite interesting. Maybe let's pick one for the group from here. I will pick something from the Galot Garniture deck. All right, I got this card, Gaia, Gaia Wisdom, Knowledge, Spiritual Understanding. I think this card is perfect for the group and today's topic. <laughs> so yeah. And positive outlook, guys. And promise of the future. <laughs> All right. I think I have pretty much covered everything that I have to cover in the area of uh, attachment and detachment. And I hope today's topic inspires you guys to find your own path. Always remember connecting with God purest form of God will always assist you in your journey of finding yourself and focusing on yourself is vital in this journey so always always focus on yourself your spiritual evolution your soul growth and how you see things the way try to detach and go into a state of watchfulness as well always always converse with god and as mj had explained you can look up at the comments um, also let me see what parting comments i have before i close this video detachment is a beautiful thing guys you will truly feel happy because detachment is a 13 dimensional energy 13 and beyond it is actually detachment is the key card to your pathway towards enlightenment detachment is the key is the secret to so many things in your life in order to manifest so many things detachment is the key for everything especially with your divine masculine connection the more you're detached the quicker the union that is the secret see i've actually unveiled the secret to you you detach union is immediate so for detachment to occur your frequency watch your frequency watch your thoughts and always release what no longer serves you to god and the divine and uh, if you want a paid consult with me, please do have a look at all my readings. I always introduce new readings as well. You can always check out my website. Um, yes, please feel free to leave a comment on my file. It always excites me to read all your comments. So I hope you guys have benefited from today's discourse. And... Um, yes if you want a paid consult look for me dm me email me and uh, i hope to see you all again next week take care and thank you all for your kind words thanks lisa thanks annalisa thanks delilah thanks everyone um it is amazing everything is amazing be happy have a great weekend think about your dm Think about your twin flame, but in a very, very healthy way. So take care, all of you. Love you all and have a splendid weekend. Uh, read what I have uh, written as part of the video. I'm going to write it up now. Also, 
yes guys i do run a lot of courses as well do sign up if you want to learn more about the agashik records dimensions reiki i am a reiki master i'm an isis he master my agashik records master i can teach all of these i'm qualified to teach so if you guys are interested in any courses dm me if you are looking for a particular skill you want to learn i can curate a course for you if you're looking for a particular reading i can curate a reading customize a reading for you as well so just message me always look at everything that's on featured also check out all of my other readers files as well they all have beautiful promotions and today my promotion for full soul reports and mini soul reports are ending it's ending in four hours so if you guys haven't bought your soul report yet please check that out Oh, Henry, thank you so much. And thank you so much for messaging me as well. That's when I realized, oh, no, <laughs> I might be in the wrong chat. So, yes, guys. So, uh, a quick thing is um, <laughs> I actually was on the, I, I actually started a video on my own personal Facebook. So, that's why there was a delay. Do watch the video from the beginning to understand what detachment is. And if you guys are interested in a particular topic, you can always uh, post it on the wall. Or there's a thread going on where I ask for suggestions on your topic. Oh, thank you, Amy. That I'm, I'm so happy that it was worth it for you. Um, thanks. Yeah, soul reports are great. I mean, I had my soul report done by my teacher, Paula Vanderson, many, many, many years ago. And really, I really knew a lot of things that were in the report and it just triggered and triggered my journey. It's amazing. Soul reports are amazing. Knowing your star seed origins and your soul vibration, your diamond. So you at least know where to work on what. So it is great. Oh, thank you. I'm so, there's so much love in this group and you guys are all so amazing. Thank you, Henry. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also very, very happy to see how you all encourage one another at all times. And whenever uh, someone posts, uh, open posts and how each one of you all encourage one another, that is so healthy. And I'm so grateful that we have such meaningful connections and people in this group and how you're all supporting one another it is amazing and i i love it yes jennifer if you want a soul report dm me uh, i can get one for you oh yes you can gift your dm one too yes go for it yeah that will that will be a great gift you guys you can gift a psychic reading to anyone you want as well that is fun i've done that before it's amazing so yes that is my promo. I might introduce a new promo in today. So do check out my file and you also check out my website, which I designed myself. <laughs> so proud of it always. And okay, take care. Love you all. Thank you and have a great weekend. Oh, thanks for all the hearts. See, I feel so hard to part you all. Hi, Rupali. So lovely to see you, Han. Yay. All right. I'm going to actually go. So bye, everyone. Take care. And thank you. Thank you. for Thank you, Rupali, for dropping in. All right. Bye-bye. Take care.